Greetings to you all and a welcome back to Let's Play The Langriser, where there is quite an important moment about to take place. Now, I could decrease and then cast a load of spells, but I think Hain is the only person who has decrease. You're certainly not going to have it. You may have it. No, you have resist. My mistake. What about you? Do you have decrease? No. So, you can't even hit the tornado. Useless man, Aaron. Tell you what. Because we may not get a chance to do this again. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Go on then, Aaron. Oh, there we go. Finally, we break out the copy of Aaron's voice. Now then, they're not going to be decreasing because there's not going to be that much magic flying about the place. The main magic is going to come from Hain, and he would have to be the one to cast Decrease. So instead, Sexy Beam. Now calling this a Sexy Beam doesn't really make much sense because it comes out of his mouth and it looks a lot like the Hadouken that Burza like to do. However, we still relate it to the Anarchy because it's exactly the same attack the Anarchy did, just they choose to shoot the Anarchy's one from their crotch. So, yeah. It is the same attack, so it's going to forever be the Sexy Beam. And let's get as many units out the way as we can. You go sit in that fountain of blood. We can surround him on four flanks, which means we need to line up our four best attackers. It's going to be you, you, you. It's going to be everyone, because I only have four commanders. Apart from you, and Lester, who's miles away. And you, who got... I got four attacking commanders. So we may as well start this off with a bit of 50, 40, 46. Let's key set. Ooh, 51 for key. Ooh, choices, choices. I kind of want Shuri to get the kill, but it's hard to predict when I need to attack with that. I'm going to start with a bit of air win. No, I'm not. I'm going to start with a bit of Scott. Start with some Scott. Because I don't mind if Scott gets the kill, because he's a bit lacking as well. I'm aware I spent most of this video making choices. Nicely done, Scott. Superb. The fact that Scott takes a lot of damage before he gets the Bernhardt doesn't matter. We said before that if I attack with 10 horsemen against an 8 HP Bernhardt, 9 of them will die before they reach him. That's true. If I attack with a 10 HP commander and he loses 8 HP, he still gets all 10 attacks. So, important difference there. Has wounded him sufficiently. Cherie's going for it. If she fails, some Beavis is going to pick it up. But I would like Cherie to take it. No, nope, she's a complete waste of space. So Cherie's not getting it at all. You're level eight. You're level nine. I'm going to push with Airway then and try and clip him into his final class change. Hopefully, certainly this experience will do it. And we get to hear Airwin's unique death cry. I'm not having a go at. These shallow wounds won't do him in. Fair enough, they are pretty shallow. He seemed to have bitten his lip and he has slightly grazed beneath his eye. And as we said before, yes, to seal Ben Hart it was required to beat him within an inch of his life, i.e. kill him. So Jessica's plan is to cast exactly the same spell that Egbert seemed to cast. Yes, I remember that. I couldn't pronounce that word the first time. I certainly can't pronounce it the second. Oh, th no, this is a different spell. This is Studs Leah. Reset the dot. Wonderful stuff. Apparently that's enough. Oh, he's gone. Sealed him away in time and space and a bit of Latin. Well played to Jessica. We have sealed away Bernhardt and the Alhazar. The thread is gone. Let us rejoice and let us uh, now anoint Erwin as king for this superb battle he has done. King should be read as a class, not as a declaration that he now controls a country. So he is the king. He gets grenadiers, which he already has, because basically you have every unit by the time you become king. In fact, it's impossible not to already have grenadiers because you have to be a general, so that doesn't matter. He gets some more attacks and more defense. So, very nice. 
going to make him stronger, get a new attack animation, I do believe. Can't remember what his current attack animation is, even though I just saw it. I believe it was charge. He certainly doesn't have charge anymore. It asked me if being a king is alright, considering it's my only option. Which is a bit odd. Lots of level up all around. Liana's getting a level up. She's an NPC, but hey, she's still in the team. She gets some level up for the time she was missing, I suppose. That's well played by Jessica. Now it seems that Jessica has disappeared. Ooh. A very upset Keith. A portrait you don't see particularly often. The sort of sad portrait. It's a serious one. It's not the anger and it's not the normal I'm smiling for no reason portrait. It's a serious sad portrait. Jessica seems to have sacrificed herself. Sad Erwin joins the party here. We're not certain that everything's done. They're in the middle of this conversation. They're going, So Jessica, she sacrificed herself to try to seal away Bernhardt. Do we think it worked? Not sure. Alhazard gave off kind of weird light and everyone disappeared. Not really sure what happened. And Liana pipes up. Level up! Defense up one, MP up two. She just wants a little bit of attention, this old Liana. So now she's getting level up for the time she was absent from the party, so the game goes... She wasn't with you for a couple of levels, so presumably you want this about roughly this amount of experience is about right for that many levels. The fact that Liana was already over leveled to hell and back, the game doesn't realise. Those was gone, so Liana saved. She saved a long time into that level, but we didn't gain control of her, and I don't like this fact. I would have liked some healing, I would have liked the white dragon right on top of Bernhardt. But hey, she's been saved. She's no longer being controlled. Erwin's just real. Oh, Liana, she's in the corner. I never noticed. But, well, obviously she's back in the team. That's a, that's a given. But somebody else has been saved, haven't they? Thanks, Cherie. Lena's not talking to us. She's facing that wall. She, she's disappeared. She's changed clothes. Right. Lena, a curious character. What happened there is she de decreased in class. She was a dark princess, dark princess. She has changed to Lena's sister. The reason she's done this is because, well, she's going to join our party. No spoilers there, we're levelling her up. So she's about to join us and the game wants us to choose what class we want her to be. So what it does is it just resets her all the way back to sister, which is like the same as knight. It's a very first level class. And we get to go through the class changes with her. Now, Lena is Rihanna's twin. So it doesn't take that much to work out that the kind of classes Lena can become are exactly the same kind of classes that Rihanna can come, who is in fact Liana, because I'm getting confused with the names. There's a couple of things you can do with Lena. Generally speaking, I would advise, though other people will probably disagree, that you should either take her exactly the same route as Liana for the same reasons you took Liana there, i.e. She makes a very good healer, because she can get the hidden fifth healing class, same as Liana can. Or, you can take her the complete opposite route, and make her a kind of spellcaster. If you feel you would like another magic user, that's a very realistic and very achievable class as well. I don't think we need that, because we have Hain, who's dedicated purely to it, and everyone else is starting to get tornadoes and fireballs and odd little spells which are helping out. I think we have enough magic. We saw there that we have enough magic to wound somebody to about 8, 7, 6 HP, then charge in with the big attackers. So I think we're fine for magic users. The third choice is that she can actually become an offensive class. Now, I think this is terrible, but lots of other people disagree and say that it's good. But I'm going to stick to my guns and say that it's terrible because her stats are just not going to compare. Yes, she can become an offensive class, but her stats as an offensive class are nowhere near Erwin or Cherie or Keith or Lester even. So I don't see the point. Lots of people like that class. I don't. I prefer to have a second healer. So she's going to be going through all of the classes 
that Liana went through. It means she has to go through every single thing. She learns Valkyrie, the stupidly overpowered spell at the time that we had it. Now there's only one way to become a full healer. You remember before I said something about Jessica being an Archmage, I mean she had to go Mage, 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 Mage in order to become it. There was no other way. You couldn't take a quick diversion and be something else for one class, like I couldn't become a saint for a class. For example, you have to stay on the healing line the whole way if you want to become the best healer you can be. Specifically, that means you have to become a priest, then a high priest, and then that leaves you open to get the best class. You can't jump and jive, you can't go saint and then back over to priest, it just doesn't work. A lot of levels up, but then, well, it's a new character coming this late in the game. The game has to take a guess as to roughly what kind of level your people are going to be. It's worked out they're probably 4th class by about now. So she's going to be exactly the same as Iliana. High Priest. That'll be fine. How many levels does she get as a 4th class? Well, just get the first one, definitely. That's it. They think they should. we should be about level 2 High Priest. We have milked everything for every piece of experience we could possibly get. So our lowest up to now was level 5 of the 4th class. So maybe we're a little ahead of where the game thinks we should be. She's not a sister anymore. She's been promoted. She's a high priest. Interesting method of communication these girls have. They talk to one another, they look at each other, and then Lena turns away. No, I don't want to speak to you anymore. Scott's a bit slow on the uptake. Oh, I changed my mind. Let's have a chat. I stand not wanting to be left out of the conversation. Okay, a very handy fact that the Maiden of Darkness, who is now very holy and I've made into a healer, who has a serious face, like the serious faces. Velzeria is a castle, is where we have to go. It's apparently where Alhazar has taken Benhart and Jessica, so it looks like we're going along that line of yeah, Alhazar probably did just take them both. And Jessica didn't get her spell off, which is a shame. So the god Chaos, the god of Chaos, who conveniently is named Chaos. Happens to live at that place. So, certainly a problem. But we're not confident we can defeat Al Hazard. So, what we're going to do is release the Langrisser. Now, this kind of makes sense. It's a nice twist I think the game throws in. But Al Hazard is just a sword, which Ben Hart was using. But if you release it, it becomes incredibly powerful. To the same token, Langrisa is a sword which, when you release it, becomes incredibly powerful. We now have both of the women who are used to release the powers of the Holy Swords. Makes sense that since we have Langrisa, we're going to charge it up. And Aaron is going to start bitching. And here is a choice we're given that Aaron alluded to. Lena is going to join the entourage, yes, but Aaron is going to say, That's enough for me then, lads, I'm out. I don't understand it. I think it's a terrible, terrible thing that he's just going to abandon us. And doesn't really care about the war effort anymore and saving the world and all of this nonsense. It's just, I don't care anymore. The real reason is that the game is programmed only to handle a party of eight. The game doesn't admit this to you. It just throws in a line from Aaron and says, That'll do, that'll, that'll fool him. But there we go, Aaron has left us, that's why I didn't buy him an Arbalest. If you thought I was going to find one in a secret tower in that level, shame on you. Aaron is gone, he's not in the team anymore, we've replaced him with a girl, so that's how we roll. That's just about going to do it for this video then, and annoyingly the spores of war are going to cause me to overrun. Can I speed them up? No I can't. So I'm going to have to cut the video off, you're going to miss some people exploding. 
when we come back, we'll see where we're going next. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall see you there.